So today we're just going to talk about uh, Laura's journey since she started at Train of Abbey. What was life like before Train of Abbey? I didn't do anything at all really. I didn't go to the gym. I probably went on a couple of runs. The gyms, as well as members of them, I have code for about a week. But because I had no really idea of what I was doing, I'd lose interest quickly. When you did go to them sort of gyms, what kind of stuff would you do? Mainly cardio because that's all I knew what to do. So I'd go on the treadmill, cross trainer, things like that. So I wasn't really gaining anything. Tell us like your first experience at Train Abbey. So it was great, so it was a taster session just to see where my ability was and what I could do. I know how to actually properly use weights in the gym, do it correctly and the progression. I wasn't able to do a press up or even a chin up, so now I can do a lot more and the, you can see the progression quite clearly. And when you joined Train Abbey, what were your goals? Just to get a lot more fitter, stronger, actually see a difference in my body. More confident, you're more toned, confident in the way you look. It's nice. Get your abs out. <laughs> <laughs> Give people like a little insight of kind of what a typical session looks like. Come in, have a chat with everyone, have a coffee, warm up and get your folders out. It's like your session, it's nice how you don't have to think about everything, it's all done for you. What would you say to somebody who maybe hasn't got the pluck of courage to start training yet, who just needs a little push? Just come down for a taste. You make you feel comfortable, you just do it in your own stride, you're not thrown in the deep end, you take everything one step at a time. So. What's your biggest achievement in the gym? Chin up. How Seven. many chin ups can you do? And how many <laughs> can you do when you first started? None. <laughs> <laughs>